Meet Nasa Lynx. He's a photographer, a wildlife adventurer, a grateful harvester of Mother Earth, and a legendary spear fisherman. He explores the ocean where he encounters some of Jamaica's most vicious predators while he captures breathtaking underwater footages and forages for food in order to survive. He cooks up a storm and produces mouth-watering dishes that will make you lick your finger. Welcome to Original Living with Nasa Lynx. It's an next wonderful morning, peeps. Next lovely morning again, and you guys see the settings. You see the thumbnail and the title. It's an next spear fishing this morning. All right, and this morning, two of us only this morning, just me and Kenado. Yeah, man, and back at one of our favorite location, best spot to us. Yeah, man, so spear fishing we are going to do this morning. And this morning, we don't plan to do a, a hard hunt this morning. We're just going to see if we can find some fish because the previous video, when we go to Portland, yeah, man, we never we find fish, but everything we catch get cooked on the beach so we never take home any and uh, the fridge them run down you know so we are going to get some stock you know you know we are going to get some food for put in at the fridge for serve us throughout the week and such you know yeah man guys we have other things to do and every day we get to do spear fishing yes man so the area now is a little overcast but we know say up in the day the sun is going to come out and Hopefully we get some great light in out there. Hopefully the water clean still. It's supposed to be though. Yeah man. You guys see this area already. It's a great area. Yeah man. We just do the, the, this intro piece from a different spot. Yeah, man. But it's the same area. Me and Canada as we well, missing from before. And the two of us are going to do what we are doing. And we just head off in the water. Alright. Yeah man. So stay tuned to the channel. It's been a while since I've seen the water this clear. It's a beautiful morning. So this is my first job. I saw a few snapper. So I make a jump in the trench and try to sneak down on them. But it seems like they saw the chat line and swim off. So that's a barracuda swim right beside me. I didn't saw it till it swam past me. This is an extra, this one is random, just checking out the changes. So here can add a spear, I love the job. That's the first fish that got caught. And the current was good in this era. Most of the time it is strong. The 
this spot look promising so I made a job seen a lot of small fish mainly parrots surgeon fish and damselfish nothing big enough so I snap over the ledge there but that's way out of range this is a harder job and in the early on I was seeing a lot of fish but never getting any close encounters I was checking for gold teal here, but I saw none though. So here I spear a lovely gold teal, and my spear got stuck. I just surfaced, so Kenada decided that he's gonna try and retrieve the spear. Here is about 30 feet, it's not that deep and not too shallow as well. But the water is crystal clear so you can see the bottom good. You can see him down there trying to get the spear out. came up empty and did the spear was stuck bad so I went down and ripped it from the rock once again This happened to me a few days ago with a snapper, this time it's a gold tail. The spear went far up in the rock. So I ripped it out and the flapper came off, dropped on the sea floor. So I head up left it. So can I went for the flapper? I'm not sure if it will be good. Wait, have you touched that subscription button yet? Then what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. But nevertheless, this is a nice fish. The flapper is okay, so whenever I reach home, I'm going to wedge it back on. So we continue on with the dive, and I have no flapper on my spear. So any fish that I'm going to spear, I have to make sure that I spear them good.
there is a jack, I hesitate there. That's the reason for that miss. Say here is our next jack. So the two of us met the jack on it. But did swim off to the deep. We didn't get a shot. So this is a real deep job, about 60 to 65 feet. I saw a school of chub, but saw some shyness in the school. So I jump halfway to check them out, but I realized that it is just some white chubs. So I head back to the top. Here I saw a lovely jack. This one gives no chance. This is a hard a deep jack. It's a lovely mutton snapper. But when I made the jack, it saw me and head off. These two barracudas swam right past me. I was heading up the sea, so I didn't saw them. I just have to wave to them. They're out of range. It's a lovely mountain snapper lurking on the bottom here. I have no flap on. I was trying to get a nice head shot on it. It saw me and turned around and started to swim away. Took the shot, I hit it, but with no flapper deer, the spear just came right out back. So here this cool of ass I jack swim up on me. I was resetting my gun at the time. Didn't get to wrap the shooting line quickly, so I set one of the rubber bands on the first hitch. I was trying to spear one, but they head down to the deep on me. When I took the shot, the spear just barely passed one. That was a sad moment for me. When I surface and take a look to see if they are still there, no sign of them. Didn't see where they went. So I move up a little further and I came across two fish pots loaded with jacks. So I stop a little deer and ambush two of the jacks when they are swimming past. So at the same spot, a school of rainbow runner swim up on me as well. So I took one out of the school. They were some lovely pound sized one. My camera battery died on me, so while I was there trying to get it to come on, I saw a lovely permit jack, and at the same time the camera came on for the last time, so I head down on it, took the shot, and I got it, spear it on the reef, the spear went right through the reef top, 
so I knew that it won't be going anywhere so after that the battery finally gave in and the rain was falling very hard so I decided to head in yes guys rain run way out of the water God no way out the whole long shoot and rain start fall so we, we almost lost out of sea you ever see man almost can't find back land to the amount of rain start fall when I hold up my head and look out of sea and I look all out to land at the same way we look yeah man at the tree top them I barely see I don't know where they way out yeah man look we come in back still although we out the long still a good little time we out there before we come in back see for our sound you know and then at the last half I start to find a few fish all when the batches start go down low we capture when we spear some and when we jump some of them but we find, yeah man, we find the rest of the other you know? It's great spear fishing, although the rain runs out. You know, you need to catch ya. Yeah man, this is fine, you know? So this is how they are messed up. Nice. So what we caught here, this is a rainbow runner. Size, rainbow nice runner, pound you know? size one. Yeah, man. Nice, cool, see what I'm going to take out one. You know, they need to close. This here is a permit jack, about a three pounder. This is a nice one. This is a jack, a bar jack. This is a gold tail. This is the fish that made my flapper got damage. This is a Hada Jack, nice one, that's a red belly deer, and a next Jack, you can see it's a great catch. The rain, uh, the rain, look, the rain look like it checks too, but I don't know what the thing said. Now go on, do some clean up. Can I have the routine about 5 minutes before me and him, him start to do some little clean up already, but I everything. So I'm going to finish up you now and we're done with the thing set. So, go on and watch this little video now guys. And go on and clean it, you know. Yes, keep it, you know. Uh, go on to them now. No. Shut the hour and force me. The permit and a, no hard for deal with that uh, a simple fish is it you Finish your clean up you now. I don't know what I'm going to do you now. And probably a permit jack cook up again. Like eat them fish you know, man. It tastes good. Worst of one here. Yeah. It's not that large. And the one you can have the spear you now. A 28 pound and they big and nice you know. But the meat kind of meat not that thin there. But this one here yeah, I know it's so nice. Man. You see the string here. String this, you know, pull out them there. Mm. We'll see what's going on. You know. The video not done, you know, so stay tuned to the channel. We're going home now. We'll do a little bit of all right. Large, large one, but a pound size one, a pound or so. I 
nice board player, nice player of Jack. Rather than Jack Larry, I'm not Jack Larry, you know. This is a board player.